Welcome everybody. So what I want to do, um, first of all, we need to solve this um, by using elimination. And what I want to kind of do first is get rid of these fractions because I absolutely cannot stand fractions. So why would I want to solve a problem that's going to have these four and three in the denominator? So to do that, I'm going to have to multiply by the LCD of three and four. And the least common denominator that three and four both divide into is 12. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole equation by a multiplier of 12. And I multiply this by 12 and that expression by 12. Now when I multiply this expression by 12, I'm left with the 12, and that's going to cancel out to go to a 3. And when I multiply 12 over here, that 3 divides into 12 four times. So therefore, I'm going to be left with a new equation that I can now apply distributive property for, which is going to be 3x. Oops, and also, I'm sorry, I've got to multiply 12 over here as well. Yes, so therefore I'm going to have 3x plus 9 plus 4y minus 4 equals 12. Then I can combine these two. So I have 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals 12. Then I only want to get the x and y's by itself. So I subtract 5, subtract 5. And my final equation is 3x plus 4y equals a positive 7. All right, so I did all that work to get to this new equation. Now let's go back to our uh, two other equations. I have 2x minus y equals 12. Now, again, so pretty much all this work here is to get it into this format. So now, again, remember when we're solving elimination, we've got to get the variables to be, have the exact same coefficient. It doesn't matter if they're positive or negative. We've got to have them the same coefficient. So, Rather than getting the 3 and 2 to the same, that means I'd have to multiply a multiplier on top and a multiplier on the bottom. If I just multiply this bottom equation by 4, then this will be positive 4, that will be negative 4, and I, can use a lim and I can eliminate one of them. So what I'll do is I'll multiply the top equation, or the bottom equation, I'm sorry, by 4. And when I do that, I end up getting the top equation remains the same, 3x plus 4y equals 7. And the bottom equation now becomes 8x da, 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 minus 4y equals 36. Okay, So that's what happens when I multiply 4 times the whole bottom. Now, I can simply, the process of elimination is once you have two terms that are exact, the coefficients are exactly the same, if one's positive, one's negative, then you can just add the two equations up. And by adding the two equations up, what that allows you to do, um, this gives me, then that eliminates that variable. So therefore, this is 11x equals 7 plus 30, 36, which is going to be 43. Then I divide by 11, divide by 11, and x equals 43 over 11. Now I need to go ahead and solve for y. So to go ahead and solve for y, I'm going to take that variable and plug it back into uh, my equation to solve. So I preferably am going to choose this equation to, to plug this in for. So I have 2 times. 43 over 11 minus y equals 12. Well, this is really 2 over 1, so that becomes 86 over 11 minus y equals 12. Then um, I'll add the y, and I have 86 over 11 equals y plus 12. Subtract 12, subtract 12. And therefore, my final equation is y equals 86 over 11 minus 12. Now again, I still want to get them to have the common denominator. So therefore, I'll multiply by 11 over 11. And therefore, I have y equals 86 minus uh, 12 times 11 is going to be 132. And then 86, so that would be 40, 46. So y equals a negative 46 over 11. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of fraction practice for you to help you go ahead and solve um, using elimination. Thanks.